All right, guys, as you can currently see, I'm number five in Hole Masters, and I was number 10 not so long ago, but we've been climbing back up, and today we're gonna climb even more because this is episode 14 of the Sweat series, ladies and gentlemen. So today, I'm gonna show you some of the best strategies in Hole Masters and the best rushes you can send to win every game. So let's hop right into it. Let's get it, guys. All right, our first match of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is on the map of Inflection with my favorite strategy on this map and your favorite strategy as well. I know so many of you guys love these games with both Alchemist and Spike Factor. We're against my man Adam, who has a top two badge, by the way. So this is a really good player. And um, they brought Sentai Churchill. So it's Sentai Churchill versus Normal Churchill, which is honestly really interesting to see Sentai Churchill come out because I don't know. I feel like Normal Churchill is much more popular these days. Let's get my Churchill down, though. Perfect. They did the same thing. Who leaked less? Oh, we actually leaked the same amount. Oh my gosh, look at that. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed we leaked the same exact amount there? Okay. But yeah, this is episode 13 of the sweat series, guys. So we're going to be sweating it up today, you know. um, Getting real sweaty. Eating some spaghetti. Drinking out of a Yeti. My name is Betty. I don't know. I don't know any more rhymes. I, I tried. I tried, I tried. Yeah, they got their Churchill kind of on first targeting here. It's not ideal from them. Let's get my boat down. We'll send some blues their way, and then we'll send some yells on top. Might not be Bulldog Spike Factory from them. Might be, yeah, it's a farm loadout, it looks like. If we can force just a little bit of leaks on there, and I think that's going to be good for us. Even just a little bit of leaks is always good. It looks like right now they're fine. Let's actually do a little bit of a layer on them. Oh, it's Dart. Okay, so it's Dart's Back Farm. Dart's Back Farm is 100% their loadout here. Dart Spike Factory Farm. Which I honestly have a really good way to play against this loadout. It's, um, I kind of just take it round 30, and I can defend ZMGs normally longer than they can defend ZMGs. So, we just, ZMG race it out. I think I did this in one of my previous SWAT series videos, where I just took it round 30, and we both sent ZMGs at each other, and I ended up winning. So, that'll probably be a similar play on this game. That one was, that match was on Glade, though. So this one's on Inflection, which is a little bit different, obviously. A little bit of a different map here, but the same principles should kind of apply. All right, the other farmer than Bloombot down. Let's get my let's get my Bloombot down with my farmer, because why not? Give it some company. Get one more eco boost so I can get my merchant up. Perfect. Opponent's leaking a lot here. They go for a spike factory in the back. All right, let's bloom boost some some black balloons. Grape shot. Uh, looks like the bloom boost actually does not do anything really. Hmm. Yellow balloons are gonna be a problem for them though. Yellow balloons just will certainly be a problem. They'll need like two spots for yellows, or they'll need to boost and use Churchill ability. They'll need to do something. Uh, looks like they're kind of good right now. Okay, we forced turbo damage laser bombs. That's good. We'll send a lot of yellows now when the turbo damage laser bombs ends up ends. We'll send. We're sending a region black balloons with uh, yellow balloons layered on top. This is what I'm doing. We forced tower boost on their end. I'll take it. Smart spikes on my side. Smart targeting. Let's get long life up. Perfect. Everything's going good for me here. We'll get bigger stacks on this as well. We'll send them some zebra balloons. Do zebras do anything here? That doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. They upgraded the long life on their end. Alright, one more eco boost. I'm going to get this berserker brew up. Perfect. We're good against that rush. Close. Perishing potions. All right, everything's good here. Everything's chilling. We're good, we're good. It tried sending me a little poke rush, didn't work. My eco's pretty solid here. I've got 900 eco with a merchant on the map. I'm really happy with my positioning. Definitely do want to pressure them a little bit throughout the game. Um, I don't exactly know what rushes are going to be smart to send, but we'll definitely find spots to um, send them a little something something. Let's first get up my lead to gold into rubber to gold. I think it's going to be a good plan. Yeah, they're getting up a bank here, it looks like. They actually get, they're going to get round 14 bank. Okay, force turbo damage laser bombs, that's good. I'm gonna re-rush them in a second.
We forced her. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Let's go. Let's go. My plan was to force boost there, and then I was going to send them a lot of ceramics from round 16 and force, like, a ton of defense or their cash out because they wouldn't have had boost or Sentai 3, but we got the win. I'll catch you guys in the next game. All right, our next match here is on the map of Bill. Oh, uh, not building site. What's this map called? Basalt Calms with the strategy Darling Alchemist Glue, actually. This is a strategy I've really been wanting to try on this map because it is a pretty good strat, and I haven't really been seeing people, many people run it very much, but um, it can work out pretty well because if you just, like, defend the darling elk boat players uh rushes pretty well you can kind of out late game them with glue because you have the super glue and whatnot so that's gonna be the plan here um we brought dj benjamin with it as well so we plan on getting dj benjamin on round one here which let's place it perfect and then um yeah we will just uh keep on eco in here now the opponent's actually going gwendolyn which is really interesting too so don't exactly know what mr uncle bug is cooking with here we'll have to wait and find out but um yeah we're just gonna upgrade my darling a little bit early game and um, defend these balloons. Eco, max eco is going to be the biggest thing we want to do. Just get as much economy rocking in here as humanly possible. Now, one thing that's actually going to be nice for me too is glue only costs $100 to place now. Glue is super cheap, in all honesty. I forgot that they changed its base price to $100. So that's going to be pretty good for us. Let's target this dartling a little bit. I'm going to get this powerful darts here pretty soon. And then when I get the powerful darts up, I should be chilling. One more eco boost, I'll get it up. Come on. Maybe I should have gotten up. Maybe I should have gotten up a little bit earlier just so I wouldn't leak here, but I kind of greeted with it a little bit. We're good though. We're good. We got the powerful darts up. Just want to start eating away at these balloons a little bit so that when they layer pinks over, it's not going to be as bad. All right, send them some pinks. Now I actually want to get a glue up here as well because we want to stall the rounds with our loadout. So stalling these rounds is going to be important for me. So we'll get the glue up top. This will slow down these AI balloons before they get popped. Thus, the round will be longer overall. Exactly what we're looking for here, guys. Farmer, balloon bot. Everything's good. Faster barrel spin. Alright. Nice. And we'll send him some greens. Honestly, they might not have the meta strategy in this map of Dartling Elk Boat, though. That was kind of why I brought this loadout. I was expecting to face Dartling Elk Boat. And I feel like this could maybe counter Dartling Elk Boat pretty well, but they aren't going that loadout, so not necessarily sure what to expect now here from my opponent. I don't know what they're going. I think they're going to. I think they're going to an eco strategy as well. With Dartling and Gwyn. What if we're both going like the same loadout here, just different heroes? That'd be interesting. I definitely think DJ Benjamin's better with Dartling out glue than Gwendolyn though on this map. Gwendolyn's not that good on this map. I need to get second Dartling down. I do need a little bit more defense early game, but the advantage of Benjamin obviously is that we will um. Have one life rejuvenation, two, the Benjamin ability is better than the Gwendolyn cocktail against rushes. And three, we have money generation, which is the biggest thing. I think money generation is going to be really nice. All right, send me yells. Send me yells. Let's use Benjamin ability. They tower boost. I'll probably have to tower boost after Benjamin ability is up. That's fine. We both tower boosted. It's all good in the hood. My eco is fantastic here. Actually pretty crazy. 700 eco. Let's get an alchemist up top. We're good. We'll get faster barrel spin on this. Alright. My eco's looking good. Still no idea as to what their other towers are here. We've only seen Darling come out from them. I feel like alchemist is kind of a given in their loadout. Because if you don't have Darling Elk on this map, you kind of just die against round 13 rushes pretty hard. So, I feel like Alchemist is pretty likely to be part of it. We don't know what the rest is. Yeah, we forced another Dartling on their end. That's good. We can afford my HRP for round 11 if they send me. I can just sell some of my stuff. Actually, I can just sell this one Dartling and get my HRP up. My eco is fantastic here. Are they rushing me? Some lead balloons. Okay. We missed a lead. Let's get it up. They got their HRP as well. Nicely done. Send them some rainbows. Keep building up my economy. I'm going to have like a thousand eco at the end of round 12. That's actually kind of insane for this map. These rounds got stalled a lot. Definitely got stalled a lot. Thousand eco here is crazy good. Definitely need to pressure them a little bit here. So I'm actually going to go for a rubber to gold first maybe. I'm not sure. Sniper. Okay. Dartling sniper. Hmm. It might be Dartling Ninja Sniper here. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to beat that strategy with my loadout. 
Yeah, that's a little rush. It shouldn't do anything. They tried sending me a camo rush to get by the alchemist, but the rush was so small to begin with, it doesn't really do anything. As small as Asian sensations, you know what, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's in the rush. This should be pretty effective. Okay, we forced a boost and a rapid shot on their side. I don't know about the slowed out from them. I send them a rerush, of course. Do I just send them all out ceramics. Can they defend? I don't think they can defend this. Actually, they can. Wait, no, they can't. I was going to say the full, full auto rifle with the HRP might defend, but dude, the ceramic rush is just so strong. That, that rush right there can kill so many eco strategies if you don't have boost. It's so difficult to defend. All right, our third match of today's video, guys. We're on Sun Palace with the strategy Engineer, Spike Factory, Farm, and Churchill. This is a strategy I used to go all the time. I've kind of taken a break from it, but I wanted to revisit it because it's really good on this map in specific. And um, it's really good against Jericho as well, which we are facing because my opponent's probably going Ace, Engineer, Farm. They brought Highwayman Jericho too, so should be a fun matchup. I'm excited for it. Let's get my uh, Churchill to start off, though. Right about there. Perfect. I don't know if you guys caught what I just did, by the way. It's a technique you can do to know that your, like, Churchill placement or whatever is um, correct. Is before you can afford your Churchill, you just hover a tower that costs less than Churchill. So I was hovering a Spike Factory um, where I was placing my Churchill. And then I just switched my bind and placed the Churchill immediately. It's kind of a little technique I've learned. So you could do the exact same thing and um, be right, like Ryan Mahalik. But, um, yeah, starting with the Churchill here. The reason I like to play against Jericho with this loadout a lot of the time is because your balloon trap makes so much more money against Jericho, guys. The Jericho buffs the AI balloons, and then you just eat them all into the trap. You go yummy, yummy ceramics, and you just make a ton of money. So that's uh, that'll be pretty good for us. <clears throat> but in the meantime, I get my first farm down. I also send them a couple yellow balloons just so then they have to buy Pineapple Express, or they're gonna leak a lot. Which I mean, forcing leaks is is fine for me as well. I'm, I'm chill forcing leaks on their end. If we can get them at a decently low life count, it's going to be kind of hard for them to defend some of the later rounds without problems, so that'll always be good for me. Increase production. They're upgrading their ace a little bit. I forget if they I forget if they got round one or round two Jericho, so I don't know if they're going to get a round five steal or not on me. We'll have to um be wary of that. I'll just keep upgrading my farm. Send them some whites. Okay, they stole from me. Bloom boost. They have to tower boost. They're dead. No, they aren't. They're down to four lives, bro. Oh my gosh. Four lives and a tower boost down for my opponent is not a really good, it's not a very good spot to be in right now. It's not a very good spot to be in, Oko. Let's get my second farm down. We're going to have to use Churchill ability against Black Balloons. And then we're going to get an Engineer down with this as well is going to be the plan. Engineer will go right here. Yeah, do they leak at all the black balloons? I don't really want to use a third balloon boost as a thing. But it might be smart too. Hmm. I've already used two balloon boosts, so I kind of want to save, hold on to my third. They actually upgraded their ace to um, the lots more darts upgrade and got an engineer down. I think a balloon boost would have been useless. I'm pretty sure that'll defend balloon boosted blacks. We're going on my side. I didn't want to leak too much early game because now I don't really have to worry about um, getting an early cleansing foam for camel balloons. If I keep my, if I keep my life count... Healthy early game. I don't have to get that early cleansing foam down, which allows me to forward my Sentry Expert easier for round 11, which is what we'll need. Yeah, we can just tank these camos. We'll just tank them, guys. They call me Tank. They call me the Tanker. That was my name in high school. They called me the Tanker. All right, great production. Nice. Let's upgrade Sentries. We'll get Sprockets on this guy as well. How many lives are we down to? All right, stop my eco. Start saving up for the century expert. Oh, I can tank that. I can tank that. That's like 23 lives, I think. What did he just sell? Boost. I don't know what he just sold on my side with the steel. Okay, am I in trouble for round 13? I might be. I think I am. Is he going to all out me? We 
should be fine against this. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay. The game goes on. I thought that was going to be an all-out rush. I was ready to micro the balloon trap and get up like a second cleansing foam and stuff, but it, it ended up not being an all-out rush. It was kind of a bait. So my balloon trap wasn't really placed in the ideal spot, so I ended up getting uh, range on the trap, just so then I can place it at the very start of the map. Normally, you want to get sentries on your trap and just place it at the start, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. At least we got our balloon trap up, so we're making some money now. Honestly, kind of fine with this position. I'm fine with how this game's going. I don't like that I boosted round 11. Normally, I wouldn't have to boost that round 11. I just got my um Sentry Expert later than I would have liked. If I got my Sentry Expert a couple seconds earlier, it would have had more of the Sentries placed, and I would have defended round 11 boostless. And that round 13 rerush wouldn't have been an issue, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. Tar target the Cleansing Foam a little bit farther back behind the trap. Yeah. Okay. You sold it. That's fine. We're going to replace it. Looks like they're preparing for a Balloon Trap on their side. Let's get a spike factory down here. Just have some spikes on the map. I do want to get a second balloon trap up pretty soon. Well, actually, hmm. We can wait till round um, 19 to get our second balloon trap up, because that's when the AI balloons start to ramp up more. Round 19 is when I'll get the second balloon trap up. Until then, we'll just eco and farm. They got their first balloon trap. But the thing is for them, though, the balloon trap's not going to make near as much money as mine is, because I don't have Jericho AI coming at them, and I'm sending eco right now. So our balloon trap's going to be more effective overall. I should be fine against this mob with what I've currently got. We have an ice we have ice sentries on the map too. Yeah, we're good. Something I can do actually here is target the trap. Yeah, this will this trap will eat the insides. Watch this, watch this. That's 2000 IQ. And that can just target it back. Having that targetable trap actually kind of helps me out a lot for those moabs there. That was good. That was good how we defended that. Okay, we want to actually go for a third balloon trap, believe it or not, for AI this round. So we're going to sell that. Third balloon trap. Round 21 AI is really tough, so I want to make sure I'm just making all the money from it. We'll stop my eco right there. That's a good amount of eco. For all the intensive purposes. They're sending me a ZMG, okay. Let's go for a second Sentry Expert. And we will go for a Spike Storm at the start of round 23. Will be the plan against this. We'll boost it as well. This should defend pretty well, because he, he sent two, so I boosted. Since it was two ZMGs, I boosted against it. If it was one, I was going to do no boost. But two, I think, is boost is a good idea. Hmm. What's the plan against this one? I think I save it for triple XL. Do I four triple XL? I think I can in time. I'd like to think. Keep us on last. I don't want to pop the first CMG down. Yeah, I definitely have four triple XL in time for this. I definitely have four triple XL in time. I could I could kind of get it right now with selling all of my defense, pretty much. There we go. And this pretty much ends the game. I don't see how they come back from this now. Let me target this upwards. Yep. GG. That's a good game. Dude, the triple XL is so satisfying when you defend with it, bro. It's such a satisfying upgrade. I can't, I can't say enough. I love the triple XL. But yeah, dude, these traps, as I was saying, they make an insane amount of money. Look at this. 12.7k on this one. 14.2k. 10k. Like, the traps just carry you so much when you're against Jericho. It's unbelievable how much money these guys, these guys make. Um... I'm not going to send them DTs. They can actually defend a couple of DTs. They can misdirect one at me. They can ground zero micro. They can do some tech against them. So I think kind of just letting this game drag a little bit is going to be the it's going to be the plan there. Just let the game drag a little bit. I should get a spiked mines in the back though. 
in case they send me like a million ceramics. I should be fine against this. Yep, we're good. That was an all-out, pretty much, from them. Yep, GG. Oh, dude, that one felt good, I'll be honest. Defending all of those ZMGs with the Triple XL and the Spike Storm, just such a nice feeling. I'll catch you guys in the fourth match. Let's get it. All right, our fourth match of today's video, guys, is on the map of Chaos Ruins. Now, I don't know the last time I played this map, actually, in a Sweat Series video. I don't think I have played this map yet, but we're going... Druid Southern Farm with uh, How I Met Jericho. This is a very strong strategy on this map in specific. You might be kind of wondering why I'm going High Women Jericho instead of like the usual Obin with Druid Sub Farm. And um, on this map, I don't think Obin's very good with the loadout overall um, for a couple reasons. One, it's a split path map. So the reason why split path map means Obin's kind of bad for it is that when you throw it on the Brambles, the Brambles can't be like a spike factory placed at the end of the map, right? It's, uh, the Brambles pretty much always get eaten up from the AI balloons or the synth balloons. So since brambles aren't very effective, I do opt normally for um, Jericho over Oban on this map. But my opponent's going, looks like Heli with Gwendolyn. That's, a, that's actually pretty interesting. They might be bringing like, um, they might be going like Heli Ice Village. It's a strategy I've used in some of my recent videos. So that might be decent, be likely to be their loadout. That'd be interesting. It's Heli Ice Village. We're just gonna start saving up for my lightning though will be the plan here. I definitely will have to be aggressive towards them. Yeah, it's an eco strategy from them for sure. I'll have to be aggressive this game. Which honestly, we should be able to get pretty good farms here with Druid Sub Farm and um, Highway Man because we get the steals from Highway Man as well. So let's get my lightning up. We should be able to farm pretty well, which will definitely um, help me out in being aggressive. We have to start with the lightning though when you don't have open with it. That's the one thing. You have to get a little bit more defense early game, but overall it's still pretty similar because you get the steals when open you don't have the steals and whatnot. So. And Jericho's going to allow me to pressure my opponent a lot more since I'll have the cheaper rushes and whatnot. So, should be a um pretty fun time. Curious as to how my opponent's going to opt to defend white balloons with their loadout. Because the one quad darts in their Gwendolyn will not handle. So, they'll need additional defense on their end here. For sure. They might go for a second heli. They might go for an ice tower. We'll see. We'll start sending some whites. Let's steal from them. Perfect. Lightning should defend white balloons on our end. We'll need to get Druid of Wrath on this as well when they send me yellows in round 7, but... Okay, they use Cocktail. That works. Are they going for a Razor Rotors against white balloons? Oh, that's expensive, bro. That's very expensive to, to defend white balloons and stuff. I'm going to Balloon Boost because I don't think they can afford it yet. No, they actually did afford it. Nicely done. They actually afforded it. They're not targeting very well, though. They need to start eating away at the balloons is the thing. Right now, they've got the Razor Rotors at the very end of the map. Okay, yeah, they're, they're bringing it back. I mean, it works, don't get me wrong. The Razor Rotors defense works, but you're spending a lot of money on round five to get a Razor Rotors up. I wouldn't say it's the, the smartest way to play it. Round seven, we got two farms down. Are they gonna send me yellow balloons? Or no? No yellow balloons yet, so I'm gonna keep upgrading my farms. I don't need any more defense. We're good. Okay, there's the yellow balloons. We'll get rid of Wrath up now. We'll get Wrath up, this will defend pretty well. And the nice part is we get another steal in round 11, so that'll allow me to forward my reactor pretty easily. Or my ballistic missile, whatever I need for round 11. Okay, camel balloons coming out towards my opponent. They're going to leak a little bit to this. Well, actually, I think they just bought camel detection. Yeah, they bought camel detection on their heli, so they're good. Go for another farm right about here. Nice. And we're going to upgrade it a little bit as well. Perfect, perfect. I don't want to steal again right now. Okay, it is ice. It's heli ice village for sure. All right. Yeah, my farms here are actually fantastic. I'm going to go for even another farm. I can be really greedy too because I know they have an eco strategy. So they're not going to have very much money to rush me here. Okay, I'm going to stop my eco right there because I'm probably going to send them around 11 rush. Try to force boost out of them will be my plan. If I can force boost out of them. I'll be pretty happy with that. I'll have the steel for um, 650. And then I'll be able to send like I'll be able to send like over a 3k rush here. Which will be pretty good. Send some purples mixed in. Okay, we forced boost on their end. I'll take it. We forced tower boost and cocktail. Okay, we need to make sure we're anti-stalling. Let's get up a druid up here. I need to make sure I'm, I anti-stall this round so then they don't get their... um. So then they don't get boost back in time is important. Because if they get boost back in time, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, they shouldn't have boost back yet. They shouldn't have boost back yet.
Yeah, there's no way to defend. There's no way to defend. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they did actually get boost back. They got boost back on the tail end of the rush, but it's just way too much. I don't think I don't think Heli Ice Village is a very good strategy on that map personally. Um, it just struggles too much against rushes there. Plus, they didn't really have the correct flow chart. But I'll catch you guys in the fifth match. Let's get it. All right, last match of today's video, guys, is against Angry Worms, my arch nemesis. We're on the map of Garden, and I wanted to revisit this strategy because this strategy actually got a lot of buffs recently. Um. It's a strategy of Dart, Dart, Ninja, and Sniper. It's a really good strategy on Garden, and I um, haven't used it in a while here, so wanted to give it another shot. They're starting with their Spolt, by the way, which is interesting. They brought Star Captain Jericho, too, if I remember correctly. So, Spolt, Star Captain Jericho, maybe like Dart Sub Farm. I'm not exactly sure what they'd be rocking with this. Could be something like that. But we're starting with our Spolt. We'll get our Churchill on round two here. Now, there's a couple of routes you can start with this loadout, and all three of them work. There's like three main ways you can start. You can one, Send a couple blue balloons on round one and start with your Churchill on round one. You can two, do what I'm doing, start with your Spolt round one, send max red blue Nico, and send max red blue Nico on round two. And then what you're gonna do at the end of round two is you're gonna sell your Spolt and build up your um, build up your Churchill. So you'll see that in a second. Sell my Spolt, build up the Churchill. This is the route I like to take on this map. And then the third route is you start with your Spolt as usual. And then round two, you slow down your eco a little bit and you get your Churchill round two without, without selling the Spolt. So, the advantage of my route is that I get max, I get the most amount of eco with my route, right? I can max red eco round one and round two. I'll have a little bit more eco. The advantage of um, the first route is you get Churchill round one. So you will get faster Churchill leveling. And you don't take a sell loss on the sport because I obviously, I'm selling and rebuying the sport. So I'll take a sell loss on that. And the advantage of round of the third route is there's no sell loss on the sport, but you do lose out on some eco. So I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what route you think would be the best to start with. I do like my route the most, though. Yeah. They got their farm down, so it is, it is uh, dart farm, as I was kind of expecting. Adva the good thing for me here, though, is that these rounds should get stalled a lot, in all honesty. Both of us have our, all of our defense kind of centered towards the back end of the map. The AI balloons have to travel a long time to get popped. So my eco should be pretty strong here. And with a strategy like dart sub farm... You want to be anti-stalling the rounds. You want it's a it's a um not a late game oriented strategy at all. They need to end the game early for their strategy to work. So stalling the rounds definitely plays into my hand, which I think they realize, which is why they're going for a trip dart at the start of the map. You can see that they just placed that there. So now they might be anti-stalling a little bit with it. All right, let's get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down. Secretive farmer, secretive balloon bot spot, guys. Five dollars for the farmer spot. Five dollars for the balloon bot spot. If anyone wants to buy them the market is open for them it's hot and ready though you better buy it before it comes out it gets out of stock only a few spots open we're sending greens this round and then we'll send black balloons in the next round it seemed like that round actually stalled a decent bit so i think there's still a little bit of stalled i don't think their trip darts really anti-stalling the rounds like they want it to there's still a good stallage coming in here right now and they're gonna need a lot they're gonna need a lot of defense for yellow balloons too i don't think their current defense will hold yellows that well all right send them some yellows they go for a sub. They go for a double gun with a uh, barbed dart. So that actually might hold. Or they might have to tower boost. If I, if I balloon boost at them, I think they force a tower boost on their end. I'm going to wait a second, though. So the round gets stalled before they tower boost. Okay, it's, tower bo it's balloon boost now. Okay, we actually forced an air burst darts on their end. That's fine. Look at my eco. Yeah, these rounds are getting stalled a ton. Look at my eco, bro. 800 plus eco in round 7. This is fantastic. Okay, I don't want to over-eco, though. Over-ecoing is the way I can lose this match. So... We'll slow. We're not sending any more yells here. We get up a sniper on camo priority targeting. Kind of pop some of those camo balloons for us. But yeah, my eco is actually fantastic here. They have not anti-stalled the rounds at all. Okay, one more eco boost, I think, and I get the bouncing bullet up. Okay, we're good against this with the bouncing bullet. Perfect. 900 eco. All right, they got double sub on their side. They're good. Send them um, some leads. Wait, I think Star Cap and Jericho actually pops leads now I think about it. I think they'll be good against leads. Yeah, they're chilling. Their farms honestly aren't that great as well for the amount of the amount these rounds got stalled. I'm surprised they don't have better farms. We're going to upgrade Churchill to Camo Detection here in round 12. Yeah, I've got a lot of money on hand for defense in case they rush me. I've got a lot of money on hand. Okay, 
Oh, I just I just boosted Anne Churchill ability. That's really bad. I did not mean to do that. I meant to do one or the other. Okay, this is this is bad for me. This is very bad for me. They're probably gonna all out me. I might have just thrown the entire game right there. No, we're good against that rush. They actually didn't all out me. Well, I'm not I would have had three jugs up. In all honesty, the all out might not have been enough to kill me. We're gonna get up a supply crate on my side now. I've got Churchill ability coming back in a second. But yeah, that was definitely not how I wanted to play that. I, I meant to just use one or the other, but I kind of reacted late and didn't build up my defense well. That I ended up having to use both, and obviously that's not the best move, but we're alive at the end of the day. We'll get this one to the camel detection. They go for a bank on their side. Okay. They're probably going to do like a big all out rush on me in some round, right? They're going for a bank here. They might just do, build that into an IMF alone or something at some point. I don't know. I think on the next collect, I want to get an elite sniper up. So by the time this next crate comes around, I'd like to have it in, into an elite sniper. Is going to be my goal there. All right, stop Econ. Start saving up for the elite sniper. If they send me a fortified mob or something, I'll obviously have to respond. Nothing yet. Okay. How much does sell for? 3k roughly. So I need like 11k. Yeah, one more eco boost and I forward. One more eco boost and I forward. We're good. Elite Sniper's up. That's really good for me. Let's actually send them a fortified mob. We're gonna use Churchill ability against this as well. This should defend. Yeah, this defends, this defends. We forced boost on their end with our uh, fortified mob too. That's good. I think I'll send them a fortified BFB next round. I honestly probably shouldn't be sending rushes, but I don't know. I kind of just am in the mood to send a little bit of something, something. Probably not the smartest idea for me to send rushes, though, in this matchup. This will force a fan club out of them. Let's go for a second. Support Chinook. Perfect. Alright, I feel like it's likely they're going to all out me, so I'm just going to stop my eco. They fan club this. That's fine. That would offend. They actually tower boost that as well, surprisingly. They're starshipping something. Is it a ZMG? Or is it balloons? It's a ZMG, okay. First. Wait, Sabo? Let's use level 10 ability. Let's boost. Let's get Ultra Juggernaut up. We'll keep Scott strong. Oh, come on! Come on, baby! Wait, it's not over yet. It's not over till it's over. Still got fortified ZMG to deal with. Let's go! What a defend! What a defend! What a defend, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have to subscribe for that one. You literally have to. It's in the rule book. Dude, that's a GG. That's a GG. What a defend. Holy cow. I can't believe I did that. I didn't actually know like what was the best defensive route to take with that. I could have went for crossbow master or something else. And that might have worked as well with some other stuff, but we made it work. Subscribe right now. Let me hit 50,000 subscribers.